Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video from my channel Interactive Education running for the best education possible from the student to the student and today we are going to start a chapter from class 10th mathematics portion and a lot of people have been telling me to make a video on this chapter as a lecture so I'm going to make a lecture on this chapter rather than just questions and this chapter is circles right circles is the name of the chapter circles class 10 essay 2 now you had circles last year also and i remember clearly that in ninth standard circles was a very big chapter with about 12 theorems you had a basic idea of what a circle was and some very very fundamental concepts involved in circles this year too you have two very important concepts in circles but before we go on to that let us try to first take an introduction to circles. So if you were to define a circle, how will you define a circle? Very easy to define a circle, right? It's a set of points which are equidistant from a fixed point, right? So a set of points that are equidistant from a fixed point. So basically that means that a circle is basically a collection of points. It is a set of points. And those set of points are at an equal distance, equal distance from one fixed point. So for example, we take a point O and around this O I take many many points that are at an equal distance from this O. So if I take many, many such points that are at an equal distance from this fixed point O, and if I join those two points, but not those two points, I join those points. If I join those points, you will get a circle. So they are all equidistant from the fixed point. So if you take any distance, they'll be at an equal distance from that fixed point. Now that fixed point, the fixed point is called the center of the circle. And here the center is O. And that fixed distance that fixed distance between the point and the center is called the radius of the circle. Right? So that is the definition of a circle. It is a set of points that are equidistant from a fixed point. Now a circle can be defined in another way also. Okay? There can be another kind of definition for a circle. Now this is something new. So I wanted to just pay attention. If you take one point any one point, one single point, and that follows this path. Okay, it follows this path unanimously. It is continuously following this path. It comes back to its starting position, then it takes that path again, then it comes back to its starting position, and then it takes that path again, and then comes back to its starting position. So in this way, it is following this fixed path, right? And it is following a fixed path, keeping an equal distance, keeping an equal or a constant distance from a fixed point. Keeping a constant distance from a fixed point. So this point is keeping a constant distance from this point. And keeping that constant distance, it is following this path. So whatever, whatever, at whatever position the point is, that distance is constant between that fixed point and that point, wherever it's moving, that moving point. So a circle can also be defined as the locus of a point, the locus of a point that is at a constant distance, that is at a constant distance from a fixed point. And basically, locus means path. Okay, the word locus means 
path this locus word it means path so basically this is the path of a single point also it can also be thought of like this it's the path of a single point that is the locus or the path of a single point that is at a constant distance from a fixed point and that fixed point is center that constant distance is radius right so there are two ways to define a circle one is that it is a set of points that are equidistant from a fixed point and second can be written as that it is a locus of a point of a single point path of a single point that is at a constant distance from a fixed point and that fixed point is the center that constant distance is the radius of the circle right so that is a basic introduction and definition to a circle now if we take a circle now this is the new concept which is there in the, your 10th standard now you take a circle right take any circle let's take three circles and in these three circles we are going to take three different cases basically in a circle if we take any line in the plane of the circle so it is at the same plane in the circle like for example you are drawing a circle on a piece of paper then you are drawing the line also on the same piece of paper then we say that the line and the circle are in the same plane so the line and the circle if some line and a circle are in the same plane then the possible relations between the line and the circle what can they be let's take three different cases and there'll be three different uh, case studies in this if the line and the circle are in the same plane there'll be three possible cases which will depict the relation between the circle and the line number one either the line is in no way touching the circle either the line is not at all touching the circle it is completely independent although they are in the same plane but they are not touching the circle at all it is just separate this is case 1 as you can see this is the circle 1 and this is case 1 that the line is independent it is not at all touching the circle in this case we say that the line is not intersecting with the circle not intersecting with the circle or that or in other words we can write that it has no relation with the circle it has no relation with the circle it is in no way related to the circle it is in the same plane but it is no way related to the circle next the, the second case the line can pass through the circle right the line can pass through the circle pass through the circle and thus touch the circle at two points right this is some point a and this is some point b so here the circle is being touched is being gone through by that line and it is touching the circle at two points here we say that the line the line is a secant to the circle a b line not a b length a b is a chord of the circle but that line c d a b is not the line okay let me just rub that off a b is not the line a b is a chord because a b lies within the circle right a b distance is within the circle so any two points a line joining any two points on the circle is called a chord but the c d line which is passing through the circle this c d line is called a secant to the circle it is called a secant to the circle secant is basically a line which passes through a circle and touches it at two distinct points that is called a secant to the circle right and the third case the third case will be that the line touches the circle at only one point the line touches the circle this circle is being touched at only one point by this line so suppose this is your ab and ab touches the circle 3 at only one distinct point suppose this is p so ab touches the circle at only one distinct point that is p then we say that is that the line is touching the circle only at one point then we say ab is a tangent to the circle 
is a tangent to the circle and the word tangent has been derived from the latin word tangier tangier and tangier means to touch so the line which touches a circle at only one unique or distinct point is known as a tangent to the circle right so these are three different cases which can be there for a line and a circle in the same plane either the line is not intersecting the circle either it is a secant to the circle or it is a tangent to the circle right so these are the different case studies for a line and a circle in the same plane right three different cases in 10th standard we will only be focusing on tangents mainly on tangents all right so in 10th standard mainly tangents we will be focusing on not secants although for competitive exams and in tsc and olympiad secant is also important but for now we will only be focusing on tangents right so this was an introductory lecture to circles i hope you understood everything right i hope uh, you've got an idea of what a circle is and what are the different components of a circle and uh, this uh, basically the two concepts like the line and the circle on the same plane what relations they can have so that's the introductory lecture thank you very much for joining me in the next video we will be taking up the first theorem in this chapter right and that is the circle in a circle the radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact thank you very much for joining me goodbye stay healthy stay smart and do look forward to the next lecture in the description below and also maybe in your watch next thank you